Okay, let's now move to uh, glycogenesis. Paano kapag uh, masyado mataas yung glucose level natin and hindi naman kailangan ng ATP production. So, yung glucose, hindi siya mag-undergo ng glycolysis going to uh, pyruvate production, then Krebs cycle, kasi, hindi na, kasi mataas nga naman yung ATP. So, ang mechanism ng katawan natin is that um, that glucose will then be stored uh, as a glycogen via the reaction glycogenesis. Okay? So, this is a metabolic pathway in, in which glycogen is synthesized from glucose, from glucose 6-phosphate rather, and into a glycogen. So, glyco glycogenesis takes place when the blood, sh blood glucose levels are sufficiently high. So, masyadong mataas, masyadong madami yung glucose. To allow excess glucose to be stored in the liver and muscle cell in the form of glycogen. So, glycogenesis is stimulated by the hormone insulin. So, what happens is, okay, during glycog uh, glycogenesis, the glucose, okay, with having hexokinase, so, uh, parang ito yung step 1 ng glycolysis, no? Uh, mag magkakaroon dyan ng phosphorylation and it will then turn into glucose 6-phosphate. So, ang, ang, ang arrow natin is itong pataas. Okay? So, papunta doon. Okay? Papunta kay glycogen. So, still, if this is a phosphorylation, we are going to use ATP to supply the phosphate group so that glucose will then become glucose 6-phosphate. And upon giving this, the ATP will turn to ADP. So, nawan lang siya. Okay? So, ito parang meron tayong linya dito kasi nga, um, this one is actually the step one of of our glycolysis. Okay. Pero hindi siya magproproduce, hindi siya papasok sa glycolysis kasi nga masyadong madami yung ating um, glucose tapos um, hindi pa natin kailangan ng ATP. So that glucose 6-phosphate will then become a glucose 1-phosphate. So there is an isomerization here. May isomerization reaction dito kasi from 1 uh, nalipat yung 6 and uh, sorry from 6 rather nalipat sa first carbon atom yung phosphate okay so from that glucose 1 6 phosphate during glycogenesis magig magiging udp glucose siya magiging udp glucose siya with the use of uh, uracil triphosphate and of course meron tayong matatanggal na inorganic phosphate. So, naka-attach na si UDP sa glucose. And from that, that glucose, kasi ito yung magta-transfer, eh, mag i-carry niya si glucose para idagdag dun sa existing glycogen. Remember that glycogen are series of glucose. So, magkakadikit na uh, polymer yan ng glucose. Okay, so, Originally, if that is a glycogen with an N, okay, glycogen with an N, kapag dineliver na ni UDP yung isang glucose, okay, um, with the pre with the help of glycogen synthase, si glycogen originally na N magiging glycogen N plus one. Kasi nga na deliver na isang glucose na attached na siya dun sa existing na um, series of or polymer of glucose dun sa glycogen. Okay? So, from that, so, so si U, UDP, dahil na-deliver na niya or na-attach na, na, na niya si glucose dun sa glycogen at humaba na yung uh, link, aalis na siya as UTP. Okay? So, remember that may mga specific uh, enzymes here during glycolysis. So, uh, hindi ko nabanggit kanina, doon sa conversion ng glucose and 1-phosphate to UDP glucose, kailangan naman natin ng enzyme UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase. Okay? So, that is the formation of glycogen during glycogenesis. So, the glucose will then in become uh, glycogen. So, may store na siya. So, ano mangyayari? Kapag Ngayon, okay, so maraming glucose level, 
naging glycogen siya, hindi siya na-convert as ATP, pero there will come a time na, of course, during starvation o kaya during strenuous exercise, um, nakakonsume natin yung, yung, yung ATP natin. So, uh, saan tayo kukuha ng ATP kung ngayari hindi tayo kumain? Okay, so, yung stored glycogen ngayon ang magsusupply na magsusupply dun sa depleting glucose natin so as we could produce the needed ATP. And that would be via uh, glycogenolysis. So, parang kabaligtaran ni glycogenesis, which is, which is from glucose to glycogen, si glycogenolysis naman is the conversion of glycogen to glucose. So, let's define glycogenolysis. So, glycogenolysis is a metabolic pathway wherein that glucose 6-phosphate is produced naman this time. Produced from the glycogen. But the process is not simply the reverse. Hindi siya yung exact opposite ng um, glycogenesis. Kasi nga, uh, the UTP and the UDP molecule is no longer uh, used during the uh, glycogenolysis. And glycogenolysis is a two-step process rather than the three-step process in glycogenesis. And uh, let's take note that glycogenolys uh, glycogenolysis occurs when the level of ATP or adenosine triphosphate, which is an energy molecules, are low. So parang depleted na yung, yung ATP level natin, pero kailangan pa rin natin mag-move or kailangan natin ng energy supply pero wala tayong glucose na available so si glycogen ang ating um pagkukuha na ay sorry okay so yun nga pagkukuha tayo ng glucose from the glycogen so paano ba ang ating glycogenolysis so kanina so na so kung kanina dun sa glycogenesis, yung glucose niya attach kay glycogen N kaya naging glycogen N plus 1. Pero pagdating natin pag, pag sa glycogenolysis si glycogen N plus 1 so uh, babawasan natin siya ng isang glucose molecule kaya magiging glycogen N na siya. Okay? So this one will be um So, natanggal, tinanggalan natin ng isang glucose, kaya naging si glycogen N plus 1, naging N na lang siya. At napunta na kay, so, na-remove na, na natin, na, na tanggal natin yung isang glucose from the glycogen. But this time, kailangan meron tayong glucose 1 phosphate. So, ang source ng phosphate natin is an inorganic phosphate. So, during the conversion of glycogen to glucose, So, meron tayong addition of inorganic phosphate and ang ating enzyme is glycogen phosphorylase. Okay? So, ito yung sinasabi kanina na wala nang use ng UDP or walang UTP or UDP na may involve during the glycogenolysis. And from that, glucose 1,6 phosphate babalik siya kay, babalik na siya kay glucose 6 phosphate. So, magiging marirestructure na naman yung ating phosphate in the with the use of phosphoglucomutase okay this one then okay hindi um pwede siyang mag pwede siyang bumalik kay glucose as glucose 6 pos, uh, phosphatase is used as an enzyme at from that pwede na siyang pumasok sa glycolysis. Na na-discuss natin kanina. Okay? So, that is the glucose 6 phosphate. Uh, two steps lang ang conversion ng glycogen into uh, glucose during the glycogenolysis. So, point out lang natin that glycogenesis, pag masyadong mataas yung glucose, meron tayong pwede natin i-convert yan sa glycogen pat kapag mababa na ang ating uh, available glucose si glycogen naman pwede siyang mag-breakdown para mag-give ng isang glucose and of course um pwede nating gamitin sa ATP production via glycolysis and then moving to 
um, a settled formation, then go into Krebs cycle. And then the last is um, ETP and OP.